Hello everyone, welcome to my May monthly collective haul. Um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff, mostly wax, but I figured this would be a fun haul. Nonetheless, especially because I do collective hauls monthly now, which is always exciting. I only have one sticker order here, but I do have three wax orders. I also have a lot more wax orders on the way, so I can't guarantee I'll have a lot of sticker orders this month, but it would make my day if you watch this whole thing, whether you care about wax or not. Um, I'm gonna be filming this in portions because this is just kind of a lot and I don't have the time to just sit down for probably an hour and talk about everything. Um, so I have an order here from Plana Hannah, L3 Waxy Wonders, To the Moon and Back Creations, and Villainous Wax. So I'll go over the planner stuff first and then I'll get into all of this wax. <laughs> first up, I'll get started with Plana Hannah. I placed an order. She does these things called treat weeks where certain things are on sale for like 30% off, which is such a steal. And it's basically been like every week something new, which is always really fun because I don't know, you can wait for a week of something you're excited for and buy a bunch of it. So that's basically what I did. So it comes with this really cute journaling card. I'm not going to flip it over because she did write me a really sweet note on the other side, but this side has like some pretty rainbows and hearts. And then I did get the all orders freebie in hollow and it has a full box overlay that says make someone smile every day but never forget you're someone too which is so sweet and then you have three little icons here. You have a taco, this is Darth Vader, and this kind of looks like Patrick from Spongebob. I think I'm right, but I'm not 100%. And then this says, I am kind, but not weak. And then wore a bra today, which is super cute. And then I did put in Domi's like name in the notes because during treat week, you can't like get a certain percentage off because you're already getting such a good deal. So I put Domi's name in the notes and she ended up sending me all of her PR girls freebies, which is so sweet. So you have various colors here and these are all of the girls. I'll show you guys Domi's since that is the one that I requested and it's in this like really pretty like sparkly gold hollow I'm not too sure how well you're gonna be able to see it so the full box overlay is actually kind of like a bougie box which is really nice or an underlay and it's kind of like a splattering of celestial and stars which is really pretty you have like a YouTube film clapper a computer a moon which is really pretty and my feelings and happy mail perfect so um she's a bunch of pr girls definitely make sure to follow her instagram to see all of that and get some freebies and all sorts of things and then this was my little tiny but mighty order so i got lazy night because i have been needing these y'all i be like my my days are not lazy like i don't have lazy days but i use lazy day scripts because that's all i have but i saw she had lazy night and i was like a light bulb went off it was perfect so i got lazy night in silver gold and hollow i don't remember what font choice this is but it is the more like not scripty what is that just like regular handwriting I don't know what that is even called but anyway so i got it again in silver gold and hollow and then i got pickup prescription again in silver gold and hollow and this is in like a really pretty kind of like half script font she has four different ones so just look through each one you'll be able to tell the difference but i got these from plana hannah and that was my like i said tiny but mighty order all right next up i have to the moon and back creations i'm just gonna go in order of like smallest to biggest order so it's a little bit easier so i placed kind of a smaller order because she had some newer stuff in shop that i wanted and i know she's doing another new release oh shoot this video is getting uploaded like at the end of the month well she might still have some of this stuff in her shop so definitely just make sure to check the link down below so like i said tiny but mighty again so i did get a cute little sample here it is in laundry day and it's like a snap bar which is really nice and you get a really generous amount Let's see if I can get this bag open. There we go. So there's more in there too, which is cool. It's like a really nice green color. Yeah, it honestly just smells like laundry detergent, which is actually one of, I have found one of my favorite scents to fall asleep to. So definitely gonna be using this. And there's like a good amount in here. I could probably get like two or three uses out of this. So that was my little sample. I need to make a pile. Um, and then the first thing I got was this I love you I know little scent shot duo I really wanted to get this first of all because it's like Star Wars themed but second of all the scent notes for both of these sounded amazing so I definitely wanted to try those oh geez I almost threw that so these are in little like scent shot cups so this first one is I love you 
it is really pretty like green look at these like stars those are so sparkly oh my gosh um so the scent notes for this one are georgia peach and vanilla ice cream the georgia peach is like really prominent but the ice cream is still there like you can definitely still smell it very warm but that peach is so good that is such a good peach scent so i really like this one and then the i know is sea salt caramel and vanilla ice cream again oh sorry you didn't see that though it's really pretty too mm. the vanilla ice cream is a little bit stronger on this one the caramel is a little lighter which i wish it was a little bit more heavy but oh gosh that caramel is really good though i can still smell it so this is actually a really good scent shot duo if she still has this in shop grab this because this is probably one of my favorite things i've gotten from her so that is the i love you i know little scent shot duo and then the last thing i got was one of her um like little souffles which looks like this. I'll open it, hold on. Really cute. And it's like purple with like a ton of glitter. It's really pretty. This is called Bye Bye Bye. I'm assuming like in sync. Oh, here, so you can see it up close. And the scent notes on this one are Sweet Butterscotch and Captain Crunchberry Cereal. Honestly, mostly just smell the butterscotch, but I'm not mad at it because I really like the way butterscotch smells. So I am gonna store this one in here just because i don't want it to lose its scent but that was my small order from to the moon and back creations all right next up i have an order from villainous wax i was super stoked to be able to order from her again they have been moving so they haven't really been selling anything except for their mystery subscriptions which i did subscribe to the 90s box i should be getting it this month so hopefully it is in this haul but they did a small little like restock of a couple of scents um a couple of past like mystery boxes and then they listed mystery bundles so i was like really excited about that so first and foremost i'll do that this is my freebie it is called sick bitch which i am assuming is to help you feel better these scent notes are eucalyptus sprigs and herbal peppermint it's in a cute little like flower shape my camera is dying but i'll smell this really quickly and yeah this literally smells like vicks vapor rub it smells really really good if i ever feel sick a thousand percent melting this it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and change my camera battery and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and I am back. So they only restocked um, like three of their, I don't even wanna say like core scents, but like scents they've had before. And then they did three whole like overstock of three past mysteries. That was so confusing. I don't know how to explain it. So anyway, so one of the scents that was individual in here that I've been wanting to try because I've seen a couple of people use this in like their melting baskets and this is called Dancing Clown, I'm assuming. Yes, it definitely has to do like Pennywise, which is so cool. Um, so it is candy corn and glazed donuts. So the one thing, it's a love-hate that I have with Villainous Wax. They pour so much wax in here and like it's a lot of wax, which is awesome, but the lids are such a pain in the butt to get on. And half the time they pop off, which is really annoying. But also like it's a love hate because you're getting more wax. <laughs> so I don't even know. But anyway, candy corn and glazed donuts. This is what it looks like. It's gonna be super honest. I don't really smell anything. I'm hoping on warm, you can definitely pick up some more of these scent notes, but on cold, I'm not really smelling much, but I am excited to warm it because I feel like candy corn and glazed donuts just sound amazing together um and then i did get one of the extras from the Coraline or button eyes box there was another one i wanted but it was sold out so that kind of sucked but it's okay i wasn't there fast enough anyway this one though this one this is called explorer so i was interested in this but i wasn't sure if i would love it it's called apple orchards or it has apple orchards rainstorms and yellow raincoats really cute whole mm. I'm gonna look after this video to see if there's any more in stock. I don't think there is. Oh my God, this smells so good. I really love this. Like this, I lived in Ohio the first like 11 years of my life and every fall, like every September, we would go to an apple orchard. This smells like going to the apple orchard right after it rains. It smells so good. I love this. I hope on it warm, this smells amazing because like, I'm cutting this up into like little pieces. I want this to last forever. This smells so good. Okay. And the last thing I got that was part of their like extras, I guess. This was from the, oh geez, was it the Broadway collection? 
mystery wax i don't know but this is called just be it's from kinky boots cherry dusted almond strawberry puree and sky high stilettos it had a cute like i want to say it's like a barbie shoe on top so cute ah this one to me mostly smells like strawberry puree I'm not really getting any cherry or almond but i don't mind it it still smells really really good so that is just be and then last but not least they offered this like mystery bundle and i was like sounds good to me so you got one two three four five six seven eight cents they all say it's a mystery on top but it has like a general scent note i'm so excited okay let's just go through them so this first one is floral and ozone spoiler alert i actually really like them all floral and ozone really pretty like teal color mm, i love the way ozone smells i actually hate floral scents but I can get down with this one. Not bad at all. I don't even think I'll designate it as a bathroom scent. I think this is going to go in our bedroom. This smells pretty good. Next up, I mean, come on. Fall Bakery. Get out of here. So pretty. Mm. I can't pick out a single scent note, to be honest with you guys, in any of these. Mm. But that smells fantastic. Love that one. This is Tart and Fruity. That's really pretty. This one gives me like hints of pineapple, maybe a little bit of mango. That's really good. Really like that one. I'm getting glitter everywhere. Oh, let's do sweet and fruity. So sweet and fruity, purple. Mmm. Maybe a little bit of blueberry in this one. I wonder if everybody got the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and assume so. Cool and woodsy. Oh, I like the little trees on top. Mmm. I don't know what it is about this cool and woodsy one. I think this was the first one I smelled when I initially got this package. I got it today, actually. Wow, that's a good one. I like that one a lot. And then we'll do this one, which is warm and woodsy. It's just really pretty. This is, like reminds me of Merida. Mmm, this is also really good. I always feel like I hate outdoor scents and then I smell them and I'm like, dang, I really like that. This is food and drink. Honestly, the food and drink one might be my least favorite, but I don't hate it. It just might be my least favorite. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not wowed by it. And then this last one is cologne types. It's black. Mm, that one also smells very good. So that was my order from Villainous Wax. Funnily enough, I was in the middle of filming or started to film the L3 portion, which was the last portion of the first portion. There you go of the hall and um my father-in-law came home and i was like oh he might be wanting to go to bed so like i'm just not gonna be talking so since that portion was filmed i've actually gotten two more l3 orders in <laughs> i wish you could see me wincing right now but i'm wincing very hard um i'll go through this one i don't know if i have time to film the other two today but i'll go through the one that i had originally planned to show you guys so i'm gonna zoom in like a little bit more and then just go through this box so i'll start with a little freebie pack which these are so fun i don't know if it was this order or it, it had to have been this order um it was this order and one i just got today but she sent um some like caramels in it from a shop called sugarwood shop and i've already eaten both of them they were delicious so this first freebie is a scoopable. It's in Circe Secret. I don't know the scent notes on this one, but it's not bad. It like, I don't know, it smells like, like a perfume almost. It's delicious, I like that. This is Chasing Fireflies. Again, I do not know the scent notes on this one. This one's good. A little masculine, but I don't mind that. And then this last one is She's My Cherry Pie, which I would assume would be some sort of cherry, maybe a pie. Mm, that smells like um, cherry slushy. It smells really good. So liked those freebies. I did enjoy those. Then we'll get into my order. Um, I'll start with puppy packs since I did get um, five of those, which seems crazy. Uh, let's zoom in just like a little bit more. Okay, so this first one here is vanilla ice cream, apple cinnamon, and coffee bean. I was interested in trying this because I really liked her coffee bean in my one of my last orders that i hauled honestly i don't think i really like the vanilla ice cream 
But the apple, cinnamon, and coffee bean is still really nice. The coffee bean isn't super overpowering, which is pretty nice for coffee because usually coffee scents are very overpowering. But this one's pretty good. I'll give it a melt and see if I like it. There's a ton of different, you know, shapes and stuff in her puppy packs. Um, so I can give it a little melt and see if I like that. This next one is Blackberry, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Palo Santo. I really wanted to try Palo Santo out because Carly talks about it a lot. And I actually really like this one. Let me see. It's really cute. It's a little cactus. The sugar cookie, I think, gets overpowered quite a bit, but this is actually a really good mix. Um, I really like that a lot. This next one I'm so excited about. I just love Salty Sea Air in general. Salty Sea Air is one of my like favorite um, summer scents. So this is Salty Sea Air Cotton Candy in Pink Sugar. Mm, that is just so good. I love anything with Salty Sea Air in it. I love this bright pink. It's super pretty. The next one is Hufflepuff, which I was really excited about. This one is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. I'm going to be super honest, on, upon uh, first sniff, not a huge fan of it. And I think it's because my mind just was not ready for fall yet because it's pretty heavy on the pumpkin, but I actually don't mind it. And I think come fall, this will be really fun to melt. So that is the Hufflepuff puppy pack. And the last one here is lime margarita and salty sea air. Well, I kind of take back what I said because I do love Salty Sea Air, but this mix is not my favorite. I was really excited to try this because, oh, for the love of sense, I think, I talked about getting this, this in like a loaf and she really liked it. But this is just like, oh, that margarita in the lime is just so strong. Brian smelled it and he really likes it. I actually do think this would be a really great guest bathroom scent. Um... But yeah, I don't want this in my room or anywhere near me because this is very strong on the margarita. There's only been a couple of like alcoholic fragrance oils that I've liked and that's just not one of them. Uh, then I got, oh geez, I almost dropped it. I got three of her bougie bars, which I had never seen before and I was excited to try. Um, these are fun. You can like just break them up like almost like a snap bar and they're just fun colors. So this one is blackberry, watermelon, and fizzy pop. I love fizzy pop. Mmm. I can't really get the blackberry, maybe on warm I'll get it, but that watermelon fizzy pop mix, I think I have a green apple watermelon fizzy pop maybe, maybe, um, oh it just, it's such a good combo, I really love this one. This one is sugar cookie royale, toasted mallow, and cinnamon sugar. It's so funny hauling these because half the time when I'm ordering as of recently, um, I've been like, I don't have this mix, and then I haul them and I'm like, oh, oops, I feel like I totally ordered this and something else. Mm, but I'm not mad about it. This is like a really good bakery scent mix. Sugar Cookie Royale, Toasted Mallow, and Cinnamon Sugar. That is really good. I would buy a loaf in that. That's delicious. And then this last one is Strawberry Blueberry Lucky Charms. I'm not too sure like what the Lucky Charms scent notes are because I know Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms, like they're two different things in her shop. Mm. But this is really good. This is very fruity. I really like this one. So I really liked all of my little bougie bars. And then I did get two Bitty Betty loaves. Oh, I also got a sticker too. This is my sticker. A Dumbledore quote. I'll put that over here. But I did get two of her Bitty Betty loaves, which is funny because I actually... The first order I've ever placed with L3 Waxy Wonders just came today. So I ordered a pre-order and then I've been everything I've been ordering since has been ready to ship stuff. Um, so I did order this Fruit Loop Zucchini Bread in a, pre, in the pre-order, but I'm glad I enjoy it. I did get it in the Bitty Betty, or in the loaf, right? Yes, Bitty Betty, oh my gosh. But this just smells so good. I don't really get any Zucchini Bread. It's, the cereal Fruit Loop is just incredibly overpowering, but I really enjoy the way it smells, so I really love that. And the last little Bitty Betty loaf I got here is Cucumber Melon Salty Sea Air. This is like, wow, just Mm, that is such a good scent. I like want to go to sleep to that. That smells so good. So that was my first order from L3. Um, let's see if I have the time to get through the other ones real quick. Okay, so next I'm actually just going to go through my pre-order. So like I said, I um, placed the, my first order with L3 Waxy Wonders was a pre-order and then everything else I've placed has been ready to ship. Um, so this was my pre-order. It's pretty small because... It was my first order. I was very new to it and I wasn't sure what to get. Here are the three samples I got. I got Bum Bum, Downy, and April Fresh. This is a scoopable. Smells just like laundry detergent. I actually really enjoy that. 
I found that I like falling asleep to laundry detergents <laughs> sense. Um, this is blue sugar. A little masculine, but I kind of enjoy that a lot. And then this is, are my kids home? Maybe. Um, my father-in-law took them on a wagon ride. This is white chocolate apple toffee. Mmm, I really like this one. This smells like a sweet treat. Like, this smells fantastic. I really liked those freebies. And then, like I said, oh, geez, this was my pre-order, so it's kind of small because it was my first ever time ordering from L3. Here's my sticker. Um, but I'm kind of sad because if it had been my, like, you know, third or fourth time, I probably would have spent a lot more money. I need to slow down on the L3 stuff because I actually have another order I just placed too, but... I need to slow my roll. I just got really excited because I really like their stuff. Um, so the first thing I got is Cookie Therapy. These are the two-pack fluted tarts. C cookie Therapy is Santa's on Keto, which I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'll have to look up those scent notes. Pretzel and sugared shortbread. Mm, that is really great. I really enjoy that. The pretzel really stands out in that one. And then, like I said, I did order the Fruit Loop Zucchini Bread. So it's nice to have more. So there's that one. You guys know I like that. This is Zucchini Bread White Elephant Exchange, which is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, and white cake vanilla frosting with zucchini bread. Mmm. That is just... Wow. Really love me some bakery scents. That one is really good. This is Concerts at the State Fair. This scent is a mix of fried Twinkies, cotton candy, and kettle corn. No calories consumed with this one. Um, so I think I realized I don't really like that mixture because I got it from Birdie's last month. Yeah, and it's just a little strong for me. I think it's gotta be the kettle corn. It's gotta be because I just, I'm not really the biggest fan of this one. I'll see if anyone in my life wants that because I'm not a big fan of that. I got cookie crack. I'm not sure what the scent notes are on this one, but I'm sure they sounded delicious when I was ordering. Oh, and they smell delicious. Okay, I'm gonna have to finish after this and do my mystery box later. And then the last, or the next one I got is today is October 3rd, which is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Malo. Mmm, that is whew, fantastic. Okay, and then last but not least for this clip is VHS tapes, which I do not know what the scent notes are on this one either, but I do not like that one. Okay, I am just here to finish this haul up. Oh my goodness, I just smacked my planner. It has just become obnoxious. And like I said, I still have more wax coming because I didn't realize how much I owned. <laughs> That's my own bad. Um, so this right here, so L3 did like something that's new to me where she listed a bunch of like mystery boxes and you got to pick your size and based on your size was a different price um i think like the biggest one was like a hundred dollars and you got a pretty massive box i picked the smallest one which was around 30 i believe um just because i was interested to see what she would send in her mysteries i like mystery style things if you have uh, watched my videos so i'm going to show you guys what i got in my l3 mystery box i apologize for constantly being out of breath i feel like i run up and down the stairs and then instantly start filming and like i should probably take a minute to breathe but anyway here are the little freebies for the mystery this is another scoopable in white patchouli is this tom ford type i believe it's okay i feel like a lot of these probably still need to cure a little bit but this is okay. This isn't like terrible. I think this would actually be really good in either Brian's room or in the bathroom. This is, ooh, this sounds really good. Toasted Malo, brown sugar, pound cake, vanilla buttercream. We've got two little shapes. That's cute. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's really delicious. I just love me a good baked good scent. And then this is Evening in the Hamptons Ozone. I don't know what her evenings in the evening in the Hamptons is, blend is, but Mmm, that smells like like a summer night. That smells really good. Okay, so then there's just a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna go through this like probably in such a strange order, but it's fine. So I believe there's only two puppy packs, which are these. 
Um, this is Hufflepuff, which I have purchased before. It is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. I've said this before, but like when I first initially smelled it, the pumpkin really was like not my jam, but I actually really do enjoy the scent, so I have smelled that before. And then this is Blackberry Fluffy Towels and Salty Sea Air. I would assume Fluffy Towels is like a laundry scent. Mm hmm Oh yeah, that's actually like a really good laundry scent. I feel like I've said this before too, but I like melting laundry scents in our bedroom for some reason. I feel like I sleep really well with them. So this will probably be a bedroom melt. Then I got two of these, which I've never seen in her shop before. They're just like these little souffles, um, but they're cute and they're like a good size. So this is rain shower. Mmm. This smells really good. I've smelled a couple of different fragrance oils testing for like a rainy scent and I haven't really enjoyed any of them, but this one's actually really good. I like that one. And then this is strawberry champagne. Mm, a little bit more champagne, but actually not too terrible. This actually reminds me of one of our Valentine's Day scents. I don't know which one that was, but it smells really good. Um, and then I got a bunch of like, oh, here's the sticker in this one. There's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Um, there's a bunch of these like little things, like samples, which I actually really do enjoy because you can just pop one of these into your melter and then you can find out like if you like the scent and you can purchase it later in a larger size. So, sorry, this box is obnoxious. Let's do this maybe. Sure. Um, this one is in pistachio pudding cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's. I believe cupcakes at Tiffany's is like a chocolatey scent. Mmm. Holy smokes, that's really good. I think in my latest order, I ordered something pistachio pudding cake, but I don't think it was cupcakes at Tiffany's. That smells really good. I really like that one. This is, ugh. I actually feel like I've ordered this one before. Um, maybe it was in a haul. Maybe it's coming. I don't know. This is sugar cookie royale, toasted mallow, and cinnamon sugar. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. That's just, wow. <laughs> that is so good. I would buy a loaf of that. That's amazing. This is Blackberry Watermelon Fizzy Pop. I've said this before, I love watermelon and fizzy pop. The blackberry is really good too. That's really good. Did I get this before? I feel like I might have. Didn't I get it in a crib tart? I don't know. That's really good though. Okay. This is Eight Crazy Nights. Not sure what her blend is for this. I know it's like a deeper blend though. Uh huh. It's a little bakery. I don't hate it, but it's like a deep bakery i don't know it's pretty good this is banana bread golden grams and coconut cream pie is Reagan screaming i don't know <laughs> yes she is oh the banana is very prevalent in this one but i actually don't mind banana scents so that's pretty good then we have this one which is called red ranger tart cranberry and raspberry guava oh that's really fruity. I think I'd put this in the bathroom though. That's a little strong. This is Bonsai Pink Lemonade. Ooh, I really like that one. It's like fresh and herbal, but it has like the pink lemonade too, which is really nice. This is Salty Sea Air Raspberry Coconut Lime Verbena. That's a lot. Mmm. This one's pretty good too. That lime actually is really good with the salty sea air. I would like to see that maybe as a blend of lime, salty sea air or something. Okay, and then this is pink sugar, blue sugar, sugar cookie. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Hmm. I think a blue sugar is supposed to be like a deeper note. This one's actually pretty good. I really like that. Okay, and then there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, this is copper tone. Copper coconut pineapple. Copper tone copper coconut pineapple. I don't know if those are different or like separate. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah. That smells like sunscreen. <laughs> that smells like the beach. That actually smells really good. I like that one. Okay, this is rosemary mint pink sugar boardwalk malo clouds. Oh my god. That mint is so good. It's like very overpowering though with the other scent notes, but I like that one a lot. Is this my last one in this size? Yes. This is actually a really good mystery box. This is a boysenberry lemonade. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that one. It's good, but it's like, I don't know. It might be a bathroom scent. Okay, and then I got one of these. This, I don't know what this is. 
probably just a larger size melt. It kind of looks like soap. I don't think it's soap. Yeah, it's wax. This is Fresh Picked Strawberries Cotton Candy White Elephant Exchange. Mm, that's good. Very bakery. I mean, I love bakery, so I'm not mad. So that's really delicious. Um, then I got three mini scoopables here. So this is Aqua Verbena, which I think I've gotten before. Yep, that's good. I like that one. Very bathroom. This is Sweetie Pie White Elephant Exchange. What's Sweetie Pie? I don't know. This is another one I think needs to cure for a minute because I can't quite smell anything. And then this is Blue Sugar, Pink Sugar, Sugar Cookie Dough. Oh, this is like... That's good. That's really sugary. <laughs> that's delicious. Okay, and then I got a spoon, which I've never gotten. These are what she calls uh, spoonchulas, I think. And I got like a bright lime green because I got a full scoopable you guys which is kind of nuts because these are like one of the most priced like one of the more pricey things on our website so it's crazy to get a full scoopable i've said this before as well but i'm not like the biggest fan of scoopables but i mean i'm gonna use it because the scent notes are scent notes i like blue sugar zucchini bread and warm vanilla sugar that sounds amazing let's warm it up mm, that's, that's so good i really like that so this is one of her scoopables it is six ounces of wax which is a lot that's crazy I got two clamshells. Um, this is, oh, they're both delicious. This is cinnamon oatmeal cookies. Oh my goodness. That is, wow. That's really good. I really like that one. That's delicious. And then this is angel food cake, both bakery. The cinnamon oatmeal cookies is definitely my favorite, but this is also really good. And then I got two, last but not least, two uh, Bitty Betty loaves, which is like, that's a lot. You know what I mean? For a mystery box, like that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So this is Voyager Neptune's Meep. I don't know what that is. <laughs> mm. It's like manly, but also like summertime, which I really like. So that's delicious. And then this is, I don't know how to say, is it K-Dye? K-Dye Melts. I don't know what that is. This is minty. That's like peppermint tea or spearmint tea. That's actually really good. That would be really good during like Christmas. Okay, so that was my mystery box from L3 Waxy Wonders. Would I purchase another mystery box? Probably. I Because I got so much in the, the cheapest box, I think my goal would be to go for the cheapest one. However, if it was sold out, I would try maybe for the next, like, I would just continue to keep trying for, like, the least expensive. Because you get so much, and I'm, like, really stoked about everything. So, that is it for my L3 stuff for now. And I guess the first portion of this haul, um, I have more wax coming tomorrow from a new shop to me. And then... I don't know. I have another L3 order coming eventually. Anyway, I'll just, you'll see me in a second. Okay, so I am back for the final part of this haul. I didn't even, I'm just not going to set it all up because, the, oh, I'm out of focus. Um, because I have a lot of wax, as I'm sure you guys <laughs> predicted. And yeah, so I had planned to film this last part of this haul last weekend. Um, and I wouldn't have had as much as I have, but... Here we are, and I actually ended up getting a cold. So if I sound a little bit congested, I'm on like the tail end of it. I have just like the lingering congestion, which is in a little bit of a cough, but the congestion's like the most annoying. Anywho, so I'll get started with stickers. I only have one other sticker order for this haul, which is so sad. It was like a, what, a two sticker shop haul. Oh boy. As you can tell, I'm clearly very into wax right now. Anyway, I placed an order with Once More With Love. She had some really great new releases. She also still has some new releases I haven't purchased yet. So I'm just waiting. I'm loading my cart up. But I loaded my cart up for this release. So this was the journaling card. I think I've gotten this one before, but it is very, very cute. I should have brought up my water. Um, and then I ordered in May. So this is the May freebie. Um, my life is complete. Don't touch. I like the little butt. That's so cute. Um, suck it, the flower, and then deal with it. This is super cute. So that is a little May freebie. Uh, first and foremost, I did order this larger sheet, which I really like. It is the post-COVID bucket list. Um, will I use it for that? Probably, but I also just think a lot of this stuff... Oh, shoot, that would have been cool for my vaccine, but I'll use the fully vaccinated for my second one. Um, I just think a lot of this stuff is so cute, like enjoy brunch, out for drinks, a coffee date. 
um, travel, have guests, attend a wedding. Like it's just so cute. Like a bunch of different things that um, post COVID. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the go to Disney was on here. That's so cute. And I also like the still stay home because some of us <laughs> are still a slightly anxious. So um, yeah, I got that. That's the larger sheet. I repurchased this sheet because I already have it, but I'm like just on the hunt for more soccer stickers. I have um, a couple coming soon, um, but I have this sheet already. It's just a soccer slash football sheet um, with like the prime primary colors <laughs> on their shirts. I also repurchased the movie and TV 2.0. This is what I had originally intended to repurchase last time I made an order, I think. Um, but I mean, I go through TV stickers pretty quickly. So I think I got two or three of these two okay because i really like those i got the i repurchased the headache 2.0 ones y'all know i've been having like migraines like crazy recently so i felt like i needed to repurchase these i also got the be proud ones because june is pride month and i want to be able to just mark this like all the time because i'm always an ally so there's that i got the pillow time i can never have enough sleeping stickers i also i don't think i purchased or maybe i did purchase the black lives matter sampler last year but i don't know where mine went and i'm like really frustrated because my desk is a mess but it's not like that messy um so i can't wait to use these because i've been like needing these so i repurchased these i got the running 2.0 which not going to be using these for probably their intended purpose but <laughs> i think they're cute i got the glasses because i think these are super cute we actually all need to go get eye appointments done soon and i think avery is going to need glasses which is like the cutest thing ever um but this is perfect for like marking anything having to do with me and brian really uh the party time i can never have enough birthday stickers oh she did like a kind of breakdown of some of the post covid sheets so i grabbed a few of those so the party time was one of those the airplane ones i just really loved movie theater ones and then the family time too um i like that it's just like two people because usually when you get family time stickers it's either like two parents and one kid or two parents and like six kids and we're that like i guess the weird in between so anyway that was my order from once more with love this is super random but i just wanted to throw it in this haul anyway because i've actually been getting quite a few dms asking me how i cut my wax and to be totally transparent i was just using one of those like children's butter knives like the like you get the children's cutlery from target it's like a dollar 25 cents or something i was just using one of those knives and like it was working but not really but i seen i seen i saw this on amazon and i was like i'm just gonna buy this so it's just a wax cutter it cuts it in a cool like funky shape but i feel like this would be perfect to cut low so i'll link this down below but i did want to show in a haul because everybody i that dm'd me i replied and was like a butter knife basically um and i feel like this is probably gonna be a little bit easier so i did purchase that which actually i'm just gonna leave it here because i need to put it in my uh stuff anyway next i have my very first order from that smell good shop hannah recommends so many shops to me and i'm like I have to like stick with like two because I go I go hard with those two, you know, uh, but that smell good shop just seemed like ugh. I just really wanted to try it and um, God, I'm so congested um, When I was on their site, I don't know like when they do restocks or anything or maybe everything is always available I'm not quite sure I need to like maybe follow a Facebook group or something um, But there was a lot I wanted to try I stuck with just a few things because I didn't want to go too crazy so I got the six packs, which she does like a bunch of options, but it's like a six pack and a 12 pack are these little things, which are so cute. Um, but this is in waffle latte. It is a Belgian waffle, sweet pumpkin and caramel latte. This was apparently a limited release. I also just love the colors. They're so cute. And I feel like they just mesh really well together. Um, I can smell a little bit, so I do apologize. This one's really good. I do. I don't know what it is. I feel like maybe lately I'm just like not into pumpkin scents, but like, I love pumpkin in the fall, so maybe my nose is just, like, tricking me. This is good, though. Obviously, I'm going to enjoy it and melt it. Then I got this one, which was a customer blend. It is a blackberry vanilla buttercream crunch and warm vanilla sugar. Again, I just like the colors that they choose. Mm, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy blackberry, which is so strange. I never thought I would like that scent, but it's really delicious. I think the warm vanilla sugar really kind of gives it that more warm bakery note while still being a little bit fruity. I really like that one. This one is in Zucchini Brickle Buttermilk Pancakes and Butter Cookie. This is also a customer blend. Mmm. This one is so good. Like, I, to be, it might also be my nose. 
because like I said, I'm quite congested. But um, to me, I mostly just, it just smells like a very, like, I don't want to say this in like a mean way, but it smells like a flat bakery scent, like just like a standard bakery. It's very good. Like, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy it. Um, but I, I do really like it. I think it's like a good bakery. I saved my favorite for last, which it's so cute. I love the three colors. This is Sinistrudel. It is pastry goodness, cinnamon, and vanilla. This straight up smells like cinnamon rolls to me. Mm, I love a good cinnamon roll scent. Um, <laughs> I don't need any more, but I have it and it smells delicious. So that was my very first order from that smell good shop. Next, let's just go ahead and go into Birdies because I do have more L3. I'm sure you guys are like, okay. Um, but Birdies I feel like is like exciting, like very exciting. Okay, how many do this? So this package was obviously packed very beautifully. I have already, you know, dug my little paws into it. So I have my invoice here. She always includes, Bridget is the owner, one of these little like helpful sheets, which is just so incredibly kind. And then they also, or Bridget also includes cotton balls, which I really appreciate because like I, all my warmers, well, the majority of my warmers are the Happy Wax silicone tops, but I do have a couple of like plugins that um are just dishes so these are just they come in handy they're so nice okay and then she also sent some candy which i was able to hide from my child because she loves candy and then there's also last time we got a pencil i got a pen this time which i'm just going to keep in here because i really enjoy that okay and then here's your cute little bag of oh geez freebies which is just like she's just so kind i can't like such a like a sweet soul honestly um so it came with this card um your purchase made my day hope this makes your day thank you bridget like that's so sweet happy melting her little business card and then three freebies so i've had these actually for a couple of weeks now <clears throat> they say please wait to melt me i still need time to cure but the two week mark should be good i mean of course if they don't smell super strong i'll wait a little bit longer um but these are the freebies so this says thank you from me to you macintosh apple honey buttered rolls and zucchini bread sounds amazing this cute little star shape with some glitter mm, that smells absolutely fantastic i really don't think you can go wrong with apple scents in my opinion and Honey buttered rolls and zucchini bread is pretty amazing. This one is also thank you for me to you. This is sugared strawberry, marshmallow fluff, and fruity pebbles in this little shape here. Mm. See, it's funny because I always say that cereal scents tend to overpower everything else, but I totally feel like you can smell each individual note with this, and I think that's really cool, and I really enjoy this. So that is just another freebie. And then the last one, this one's interesting. Um, it says Brittany Nicole blend of love spell, peppermint, and cotton candy. And it's in a little mouse shape, which is so cute. So, okay, let me reread that in case you missed it. Love spell, peppermint, and cotton candy. What a combination. I, my brain doesn't know what to think of this. Because, like, you can, oh my god, that peppermint, like, really, sinus relief right there, hello. Um, <laughs> That peppermint really stands out, but the love spell hits you too, and it's interesting. So I don't know if I like this or not. Like, I truly cannot tell you. Like, my brain is very confused. But will I melt it? Yes, because I'm interested to see how it is on the warm. Okay, now let's get into the goodness. First and foremost, oh, I was so sad. So she had her restock, and the Etsy app was just, like, not loading her shop for me, and I panicked. I was like, oh, my God, I'm not. And, like, I was watching things. It said, like, 60 items in stock, and then every time I would refresh, it would be, like, 59, 58, and I was like, I'm not seeing anything. It was freaking me out. Um, so I texted Hannah, and she was like, she showed me. She was just like, oh, yeah, click, click, most recent, and everything comes up, and I was like, bless her soul, because I would have just sat there for, like, an hour sad. But I was able to get a bunch of stuff, not everything that I wanted, but that's okay because she does restocks like fairly frequently. But I'm super stoked because I was able to get this scent, which is something that Hannah has raved about. I believe it's her favorite scent of all time um, for forever. And it's a miniature size of these little cakes. They had a larger size and then a mini size. And I only was able to get the mini, but that's okay. The scent is Make Up Your Mind. It is strawberry white cake and zucchini bread. Bridget's wax is so soft. And I know you guys, if you watch wax videos, you hear that and you're like, okay, yeah, sure. No, it really is. Like I went to, I don't think it was this one, but it was another one. I went to pull out of the package to show Brian and it like literally just slipped right out of my hand. Um, but I'm still gonna show you because like, I think it was this one. I can feel it. These are just like cute little cakes. So mm, this is such a great scent. I definitely see why Hannah likes it so much. It smells absolutely amazing. Will I buy more? Yes, because I feel like 
this will only last me like if i cut it in half maybe but i still feel like i would just use a whole one of these they're so cute okay um next i did get one of her what she calls whoops daisies because i was interested in it um, these are just discounted wax melts, damaged, disfigured, discolored, broken, mistakes made by me. So it was a little bit cheaper. This was in pink lemonade and watermelon candy. It's in a super cute little like cup shape. And I'm assuming this was the disfiguration, but like it's still wax. It's still going to melt and smell good. And yeah, this smells like pink lemonade and like sour watermelon candy. It actually smells really good. I feel like Avery would really enjoy this. And I love the little straw in here and like the watermelon piece very cute so i just was interested to see um one of these whoopsie daisies and this was the scent that i was interested in i guess then i have this um <clears throat> excuse me these are sprinkle kindness these are so cute look at these you guys they're like little like cookies they're so cute um strawberry pound cake vanilla frosting birthday cake cake batter and ice cream this sounds like a birthday party to me Ah, but I have to show you everything because they're just so dang cute and like so realistic mm, Yeah, this just smells like cake batter. I really like it Can't say anything else. I just really enjoy that. Okay next this actually might have been the one that flew out of my hands I can't remember <coughs> Excuse me. This is little fudge brownies And like I said her wax is so soft that like it literally just melts all over the package But I mean like I said you just melt it so like it doesn't really matter um, but they're shaped like little brownies, which is so cute. So this is, if you have a frownie, eat a brownie. Fudge brownie, a hint of pretzel, and bear claws. I don't know if I'm going to pull this. Actually, yeah, I have to pull it out because it literally looks like a brownie. Like, if I left this out, Reagan would eat it. Mmm, it smells, oh, it smells just like a brownie too. Like, oh, it smells so good. Her chocolate is really good. I really enjoy that chocolate. Okay, and then I have... Um, this little like duo here, which I was really interested in because these scent notes sounded Amazing, so I actually don't need this big bag. I'll save it though. Um, so this is a little Tweety Bird It's called Putty Tat. These are so cute. Um, this is yellow cake cotton candy frosting and a hint of Fruit Loops mm, Yeah See once again the cereal is not super overpowering in this one. I can still smell the cake and the frosting I mean it smells amazing. I love that and then this is the cat. God, I don't remember the cat's name. Um, but this is Sufferin Succotash. Look at these colors. So good. Uh, Oreo cookie and Count Chocula. God, that is fantastic. I usually hate coffee, or not coffee. I usually hate chocolate scents. Like, it has to be a particular chocolate, you know? But this smells just fantastic. I love that. Okay. Um, next, I got this little cereal. This wasn't, actually, was this the one I wanted originally? I think it might not have been, but it's okay. So cute. Like, look at this presentation. It comes with a little spoon. It comes in a little, like, souffle cup. It literally looks like it could just eat the cereal. Um, this is called Seriously Corny Amish Cinnamon Bread and Sugar Milk. Okay. I want to talk to you for real right now. This smells like Frosted Flakes. Like, it legitimately smells like a bowl of frost. I just... What? Like, it, I don't get it. I don't get how this smells like Frosted Flakes. It smells like Frosted Flakes. It's amazing. I... I don't even know if I want to melt that. It smells so dang good. Okay. I actually got a lot now that I'm looking at it, but I'm not mad. This one I really wanted, and I'm glad I got the opportunity to get it. This is the little ice cream sandwich. I have no words. Um, and it's just scented in Oreo cookie. Wow, that smells exactly like an Oreo cookie. I really enjoy that. So not much else to say on that one. And then last but not least from Birdies. I'm sorry, you guys. I got the Angelica because I almost got the Tommy too, but I cared more about the Angelica because one, I love her more, and two, I liked her scent notes better. So it's in this cute little like heart souffle tin. It looks just like Angelica. It's called You Dumb Babies, which kills me. Um, pink sugar, cotton candy, frosting, and cotton candy. Yep, sweet scent. Really enjoy this. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to cut it though because like... I don't know. I don't know if I can, but that was my entire order from Birdie's Making Sense. Next, let's get into this monstrosity that is my next L3 Waxy Wonders order. As you guys know, I absolutely enjoy L3. Um, not much else I can say. If you've watched this haul, <laughs> you know that. I actually did keep my invoice because there's some items on here I wanted to be able to give you correct descriptions of, but she did like a pop-up or something. and I just like... I can't help it like I read the list and I'm like oh that sounds amazing and I end up purchasing so here are the freebies from L3 I just gleeked that was gross 
really excited for these this is in lavender linen which is nice because i have never tried any of her like um what are they called laundry scents and i'm actually interested in them because i feel like i've said this a million times i like laundry in the bedroom at night it is so soothing and this smells really good i really like that this is moody with a booty i don't know the scent notes on this one yeah, I have no clue what the scent notes are. This is good. It smells like a summer scent. And then this is brown sugar, pecan, caramel, macchiato. Yep, can't get enough. That smells amazing. So those were the freebies. Okay, and then into the actual order. Um, she listed a bunch of the, I guess, leftovers of the pre-order of the two-pack fluted tarts. So I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of them. Yeah, I'll say a bunch. Uh, this first one here is called Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. Strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. I mean, need I say more? Holy crap, this smells amazing. I would buy an entire loaf of this. No words. That's fantastic. Uh, this next one is Cookie Therapy, which is one of her, like, signature house blends. Let me see here. Cookie Therapy. Cookie Therapy is Santa's on Keto, which I don't even know what that is. Uh, pretzel sugared shortbread. Or maybe I got the wrong thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. It smells great. It smells like a cookie. I should have brought up my water. Okay, so that's good. Uh, this next one is Strawberry Pound Cake Don't Cross Streams. Again, Don't Cross Streams is... Um, add a posi. I don't know what that is. Vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, vanilla ice cream. Just a bunch of vanilla with strawberry pound cake. Again, oh god. It has to be her strawberry pound cake. That stuff smells fantastic. Love that. Um, next, this is shamrock shake. This is creme de menthe vanilla ice cream. Actually, well, I, I should have melted this when I was sick. Um, it smells good. I... I don't think I melted it yet too, which is good. I have a Witten Wax uh, Shamrock Shake scent. I think it's called Shamrock Shake. It's the same thing, but it smells so much better than this. Like this is nice, but I feel like this is like a sinus soother, whereas the Witten Wax one is more so like Shamrock Shake to me. But this is still good. It's just probably something I'll melt when I'm sick. Um, next, I got some of her um, two pack buns. Yes, I got four of these, I think. Sure. Um, so the first one I have here is Bluebeard. Bluebeard is blue sugar, pistachio, and savory bakery. Mmm, that is mm, fantastic. Need I say more? Love that. This is brown sugar pretzel zucchini bread. I haven't smelled these in so long. Ugh, I love that. I love her zucchini bread and I love her pretzel. Absolutely amazing. If I can get this back together. I just have a pile of wax next to me. I feel like Hannah right now. I feel like this is what Hannah must live like. Um, this next one is called Sorting Hat. This is sweet apple, cinnamon, pecan waffles, and rich vanilla syrup. Speaking of Sorting Hat and Harry Potter, I believe she's doing a pre-order of all of her like Harry Potter stuff at the end of June. I'm not sure though. Yep, that smells amazing. That smells like fall to me. I enjoy that a lot. This will definitely be the first thing I melt the first day of fall because that smells so good. The last one I have here is Fresh Picked Strawberries Angel Food Cake Sweet Bakery Dough. Oh, I feel like I loved this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's also fantastic. It, it actually reminds me of the Jelly Filled uh, Donut Rolls one, but it, they're all good. I can't really complain. Um, then I got some, God, I got some puppy packs. I don't even want to know how long this haul is. Um, I got some puppy packs. This first one here is I Put a Spell on You. This is cinnamon sugar, not spicy cinnamon, French baguettes with our top secret bakery bomb blend. Yep, that smells amazing. I just love anything cinnamon. Even if it is spicy cinnamon, I enjoy it. So that's delicious. Oh, I'm going to save my like absolute favorite for last this is a blue sugar pretzel zucchini bread. So not brown sugar pretzel zucchini bread, but blue sugar. Oh, what was I thinking? I don't know, but it still smells amazing. <laughs> I can't complain. Uh, the next one I actually really enjoy. So this is something that Hannah recommended, and I was like, I need to try this. This is hot orange Danish coffee bean. And to me, orange and coffee does not sound like great together. I don't know. But somehow, 
God, that smells so good. Somehow this works and you can pick up both the coffee and the hot orange. Somehow this works and I, if you haven't tried it, try it. It smells fantastic. Okay, my last puppy pack. Literally my favorite thing I've ever smelled from L3. I don't know if it's my favorite thing, but I really enjoy it. It's called Leia's um, or Leah's uh, Donut Shop. This is cinnamon buns, of course, cheesecake, caramel coffee, freshly baked pastries, creamy buttery butter, and bakery air. I can't with this. This smells like a coffee shop with like bakery pastries. And, oh my God, it smells so good. I want this in a loaf. I Try this one too. This one's amazing. Okay. Last but not least from L3. Oh, I have my sticker in here too. That's a Dolly Parton quote. Uh, last but not least, I have two of her Bitty Betty loaves. Um, I have yet to get a big loaf, but like I've said, I've had a couple scents I've been willing to get, but she hasn't done them yet. So this is cinnamon sugar, sea salt, caramel. As of me filming this video, I believe this is still available. <coughs> oh my god. This is amazing. Cinnamon sugar, sea salt, caramel. Wow, I can't wait to cut that one up and use that. And the last thing I have from L3 for this haul is the burrow, which is fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. If you can't tell, I really enjoy bakery. Oh, this is amazing. Why'd you make it green though? I don't know, still smells good to me. So that is everything from L3 Waxy Wonders. Okay, and then last but not least for this haul, I have an order from Nerdy Wax Company. This was one of the ones that came late later. Um, it was gonna be in my next haul, but because I'm, it came in May still. And it's funny, because I actually have two packages sitting over there that I'm gonna save for June, because they literally came today, which is June 1st. Is it June 1st? I don't know. But anyway, this is from Nerdy Wax Company. Um, they did like another Disney release. I kept, kept everything in here, so this is their card. Some stickers. I actually think I already have these. Actually, maybe not the grape soda one. This is from Creativity and Ink. It was a collab with them. Um, so then there's like a little notepad in here. Um, there was like a roll of overlay tapes in like this really pretty sparkly blue. And this is everything I got. So first and foremost, when you ordered from the Creativity and Ink collab, you got a cute, this is like a tiny little sample. It's so cute. This is the Creativity and Ink scent. It is sweet mango and dragon fruit. Oh, I like that, that's cute. It's supposed to be, I think, the pink drink from Starbucks. It smells really good, actually. I really enjoy that. And then I got this, and I don't know what this is. It's not labeled or anything, and I didn't purchase it. It looks like one of their teacups. I think it is. Like, yeah, but I'm not 100%. It smells good, but I don't know like if I got this as a freebie or what. So it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't labeled or anything. So I don't know, still smells good. I'll take it. Okay, uh, so first things first, this is, this isn't the whole collection. I just got like the stuff that I thought I would enjoy. Um, so, oh, sorry, I didn't realize we were out of focus. Come back to me. Okay, so this first thing is the Mind Train, which this is so cute. Like all the little gems. This is Running Waterfalls, Sweet Tarts, and Gummy Bears. Let me take this out. I want you guys to see this. Ah, I'm getting wax everywhere. That's so cool. It smells really great. It smells really sweet. I really enjoy that. Um, the next thing I got was the Kakamora Float, which this is stupid cute. I love this. I haven't even taken it out, <clears throat> it out of the package, but I really want to to show you guys. Because like, you have this. You have like the little whip topping, the two different colors. Really cute. Kakamora Float. This is pineapple, coconut, citrus, and a small chocolate cake pop. I don't smell the chocolate on this, but I mean, whatever. It's super cute. And the pineapple is amazing. I love pineapple. Then I really wanted this one. This one's so cute. This is supposed to be like a chocolate chip cookie from Gideon's. Um, half pound of chocolate cookie dough and a dusting of salt. So I was a little bit nervous about this one because I didn't like their last chocolate scent. However, you can fully smell the salt, which I know sounds strange, but it smells so good. Um, so I actually really like this one. The next one is um, Through the Haunted Mansion. It comes with a bunch of really cute, like, Haunted Mansion-esque shapes. This is Cedarwood, Oakwood, and Praline. I was interested in this one because I love when people do Haunted Mansion scents because they always smell, like, old and musty, and I'm, like, down for it. This is no different, <laughs> but I actually really like it. I don't mind it at all. I think Brian will probably melt this one though. This is not something I'm going to go to sleep to. And then, oh geez, <clears throat> the last thing I got I was really interested in because it's just so stinking cute, the little Mickey s'more. 
This is graham crackers, marshmallows, and dark chocolate squares. Oh, yep, smells really good. Smells like chocolate. It actually does smell pretty similar to this one. So that was my order from Nerdy Wax Company, and that was it for this haul. I don't know how long it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Hopefully my June haul is not as intense, but no promises. Um, let me know if you made it to the end of this video. I would really appreciate it. Leave some sort of like emoji. Put like a, you know, like the sunglasses emoji. Go ahead and put that one down below. You can leave another comment, of course, but add that to your comment. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.